Hi everyone and welcome back to Fully Playable Games. So in today's video we are heading back out to yet another boot fair in the 2023 season. Um, so I've actually found a boot fair that's uh, still open. It's open till um, I think it's the first weekend in November. Um, so at the moment we it is, I don't even know what the date is today. Uh, no, not too sure. I think about the second or third week in October. A second a week in October, I think that's what it is. Um, but yes, so I'm actually down at the Swanley Boot Fair. Um, it's not a boot fair I've ever been to before. So yeah, really looking forward to seeing um, what we can pick up here. Um, I have already got some pickups arranged. Um, I've got quite a few bits that I'm picking up from Nicky this morning. Um, he's actually going to be here selling. Um, so yeah, I've got some bits that I've already arranged with him and potentially some other bits that I'll be picking up from him as well um, And yeah, I will say one of the pickups is absolutely brilliant um, Let's just say it is a Rare game on a particular console. So you'd have to wait until the end to see what I have actually picked up but um, yeah, I'm going to go and find out what the arrangements are with regards to getting in I'm not too sure what time they let buyers in um, but yeah, so I will catch up with you in a bit. No, no, you're good. I'm just going to move it back a couple of <laughs> times. What do you have on your PS3? Uh, 20. Do 20 for the PS3 and the controller. What controller? The PS4 one. Nah, the controller's 30 on its own. Right, I'll leave the, the controller. Yeah. If you want to move it more this way, or if you need a sheet or anything, if you need a sheet, I've got a few first. No worries. The is that red light? Uh, to be honest, I'm not 100% sure. Yeah. Um, possibly. Uh, do 15 on it. Do 10? No, nah, 15. No. Nah. If it's red light, it's yeah, so it's, I mean, it's I'm, a I'm paper weight. So sure, I'll do I'll do 10. No, nah, no, nah, it's cool. But no All problem, right. mate. Cheers. Ten seconds later. Jacob, see, yeah, today's our last time. It's like 40. Tell you what, mate, I would do 15 for that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right there, mate. How much are your Sonic figures? Uh, £6. Pounds. It's two different ones, though. Yeah. 
Do ten for two? Yeah, if you want. One of each. Yeah. Find a bag, don't they? Really? Oh, I got one. All right. Real one of each. Is that one of each? Yep, that's it. Cheers, mate. You right there? What's your big games? Uh, don't know much of the games. No, huh? Con here. Three pound each. Three pound each. Three pound each. It's all right. No point asking me. I'm deaf as a post. I've got generated cannon backhand. Do two pound for one. There you go. Cheers. Cheers, thank you. Did you have any guns, mate? Sorry? Did you have any guns? Found each. Found each, sure. What's up? There you go. Uh, oh, thank you. Cheers, mate. Nah, nah. What was that for? So, I don't know if you know Android box. Awesome. Just make sure the record button holds down as well. I'm not overly worried about the record button need it for uh, my spectrum oh okay it'll convert nicely no, mate, how much do you have on that five well, all right i'll leave it at that I literally i picked up a white one earlier on for two so i'll do two huh go on i'll do three <laughs> matches in better so i want the black one <laughs> there you go mate right, two sets How much do you have on the Xbox, mate? No, no. Uh, sorry. How much oh. do you have on the Xbox? It's a bundle, basically, 100. 100. Yeah. Okay. Oh, those are the controllers that go with them. Yeah. yeah. F1 racing, you got that? Oh, yeah, I need that. You're right. How much did you have on them? Twenty quid, mate. How much? Twenty. Twenty. What about the game? Fiver. Fiver. Uh, yeah, rub the game. They still on? I don't think so. On the side. All oh, right. Yeah, it is. New batteries. New batteries. <laughs> they, they all go, but you know they've been. Yeah, no, I'll tell you, I'll just grab that. There you go. All right, thanks. You could be, yeah. No, I am. I'm right. really much sure. What do you mean? That's not what I've ever seen, though. You can have that for a pound. Pound? Yeah. Yeah, do you know what? I've not seen it before, so. Mr. Game Collector. <laughs> well, listen, I don't want to take the one home with me. No. How much do you get? I'll take you home and work for it. Oh, sorry, mate. <laughs> so that's Mark II. Is it, how can you tell the difference because of the way the lens is set? No, that. So there's three different versions. Yeah. You've got the one that's got the 
uh, video outputs there yep. and that. Then you've got one with just that. And then the third version doesn't have that. Okay. Let me see what they want for it. Just wait there a sec. Yeah. Excuse me, mate. What did you want for your PlayStation up front there? What is this? The PlayStation. Uh, we've got 15 pounds, mate. 15? For an old box, yeah. Do 10? Take 10, mate. Yeah. There you go, mate. Blinding. Cheers for that. Because it's... it's I've, I did have it. You've got to pay it back sort of thing, yeah. You alright mate? How much do you have on your games? Uh, I've got ones. Uh, the these ones. mate. Yeah. yeah? Ten for a lot? Yeah, There you go, mate. Cheers. Oh, this game, I lost so much time of my life on that game. <laughs> Honestly. <laughs> oh, I used to love that game, man. Oh, I'm all right. I've just cleared extra space on my Mega Drive shelf as well, so it's good now. <laughs> okay, so that is going to wrap up our trip to the Swanley Booth Fair. And I have to say, I thoroughly enjoyed this booth fair today. I will... I will amend that with saying that it was it was hard work. It really was. There was one point at the boot fair where I was literally right down the other end. And I had two big bags filled with stuff. And I was like, I'm going to drop these back at the car. And that's all right. It's just over there. And I, I got about halfway there and I was like, oh. <laughs> just, it, was, it just went on and on and on. I think it's, I would say it's roughly about three times the size of our normal Sunday boot fair. So, yeah, it is definitely going to become a regular uh, during sort of this year's um, boot fair season. And, yeah, so what I'm going to do is we're going to dive straight into it because we've got a whole load of stuff that we picked up from the boot fair as well as from Mickey. Um, and I will admit we have got some absolutely heavy hitters today. So the first thing that we picked up was a couple of Sonic figurines. So we've got the Sonic and the Robotnik, and these are the classic figurine collection. Now, looking on the back, there is, what, two, four, six, seven in the set. So I've got a couple more to get, but I am going to try and get them all. Uh, these are brand new and sealed as well. So I've got a, the seller had a whole stack of them. Uh, so, yeah, I was so happy to grab them. I uh, thought they looked really, really cool. Um, I was hoping that I'd be able to get them up on the uh, the Sega shelf. Uh, I don't know, actually. I might be able to get them on top of the Pico box. I don't know. I will see after the video. But for them, I paid £5 each for them. Looking them up online, they go for about £20 each on eBay. So, yeah, a good pick up there. Then, next up, uh, towards the beginning of the boot fair, and I remember because it was still dark, um, I went up to this stall, and, yeah, oh, you can already see it now. <laughs> I might as well bring it in. So, we got the 60 gig uh, PS3. Now, um, I think the seller originally wanted 20. Uh, he then went down to 15. I am denarbed, walked away, probably got about 10 steps away before I went back. Um, and yeah, I, I grabbed it for 15. Knowing full well, I think I asked the seller, sort of, is it red, lo uh, red lighted? And I can't remember whether he said he don't know or not. I haven't actually edited that part of the video yet. Um, but I bought it fully knowing that it was red, red light because it was missing the cover on the side. It is missing the screw that attaches the top cover. And I think if I look... Yeah, it's like one of the screws up the top there um, is different. So, yeah, I fully knew that it was red-lighted. And when I got home, yes, it was. So, 
actually for me i am over the moon that it was red lighting because what i wanted to do is i've actually been wanting i've actually been trying to pick up one of these that is red light um, because i have got the tools to actually look at the error log within the console uh, and i want to basically try and learn how to fault find on these so yeah i bought one to actually do that on so yeah for me really really chuffed uh, that i actually finally got a red light one because every time i've bought them since um they've either not been red light or i think like the one i picked up from john um it wasn't red lighting but the fan was starting to run really hot really fast uh, so for that i'll just strip it down replace the thermal paste clean it out hopefully that will resolve it but yeah to have a proper red light is really really good uh, looking them up online they normally go for about 40 pounds on ebay so if i did want to sell it i've got that option as well then getting into the games the first game that we've got is uh no we're gonna do this one first is shemu 3 on the ps4 now obviously we've got shemu 1 and 2 on the dreamcast so yeah i've been seeing this about i think i had it in my amazon uh, basket or maybe my eBay bar my eBay watch list uh, I have to say I was really disappointed with this it was it was just boring I just really couldn't get into it where I played sort of Shemu uh, I think I played sort of a bit of Shemu on the Dreamcast and yeah it was it was really engaging me I wanted to carry on with it whereas this I was like have I reached the 10 minutes yet worth of footage <laughs> Um, so yeah, really, really disappointed with this. I don't know what other people's experience of it was. Um, I haven't really seen a lot of people talk about it. But um, I paid a pound for it. Goes for four pounds at CEX, seven pounds on eBay. And then the other game that I got from this same seller was LA Noir on the PS4. So I believe I've got a couple of copies of this now. I think I've got the PS3, uh, Xbox 360, and Xbox One version. Um, so I grabbed this because obviously we didn't have it on the PS4. Um, it is missing the manual, it's missing the map. Uh, so yeah, there are a couple of bits that I need to get to make it complete. But once again, paid a pound for that one. Goes for £15 at CEX, £10 on eBay. And then we've got another PS4 game, this time from another seller. And it is a sports title, but I can't actually find it. So this is Rugby League Live 3 on the PS4. So as you can see, it's got a whole FC uh, cover. Now, if I actually sort of open the case, uh, there is actually a second cover behind this. Um, now, that second cover is the original uh, cover for the game. But I cannot see anywhere online uh, that's got this whole FC uh, cover on it so i don't i really don't know the story behind it so if anyone knows let me know in the comments down below because i am really interested to find out i will say the whole cut the, the whole cover that's on the front isn't in the best of condition there is some somewhere to the back of it um but i am going to keep it on like that because yeah obviously it's a unique cover uh so i don't know what it is but yeah if anyone's got any idea let me know because i would be interested to know so paid a pound for that one um and then the, the obviously the prices that i've got here are for the normal cover so it goes for eight pounds at cx and 20 pounds on ebay so yeah still quite an expensive game on ebay but um yeah i, I don't know anything about that cover so if anyone knows really let me know down below then i went up to this one store and they had a whole stack of mega drive games now most of these are without manuals uh, one of them's complete but it was and they're all sports titles i will say that but being mega drive games i didn't have them in the collection so wanted to grab them so that we could get them up on the shelf so first one that we've got is rugby world cup 95 <sighs> i this was all right it was all right I, I will admit i'm not a fan of rugby um i played it intermittently when i was younger and even then didn't enjoy it um but yeah it's not one i've actually seen about so yeah that was one of the reasons for picking it up uh so it worked out i paid uh so i actually paid two pounds each for all of these uh so i think i got the bundle for ten pounds 
So that one goes for seven pounds on eBay. Couldn't find it listed on CEX. Um, that one is complete. That's got all the manual and everything in it. Then we've got World Club leaderboard, uh, and this one doesn't have the manual. But I have to say, oh, this was one of the worst retro golf games that I've played. Um, it was great when you first tee off, the, the ball sort of sails down, down the course and everything. But to try and actually get the precision shots to like, get the ball on the green or anything like that, it was just all over the, all over the shot. Um, regardless of where you put the, uh, the meter, uh, the ball just went flying. So... Yeah, probably something I've got to learn how that meter works, but the experience that I had playing it, I just didn't enjoy it at all. Which is a shame, because normally I actually really enjoy the older uh, golf games. Uh, so that one, once again, paid £2 for that, goes for £4 on, uh, on eBay. Then we got the classic that everyone except for me probably had on the Mega Drive. And that is John Madden Football 93. So yeah, this is an American football game. And, yeah, I will admit I didn't mind this. Uh, once again, I've been playing a lot of uh, American football games recently. Uh, across a lot of the newer consoles. But, yeah, I have to say this wasn't too bad. Uh, I think, actually, was it this one? Where I think I didn't manage to concede at all. Which, for me, on an American football game is a real achievement. Um, so once again, doesn't have the manual, paid £2 for it. Um, it does go for about £6 in complete condition. So with that in mind, I then did pick up a manual. So managed to find the manual on eBay for £2.99. Um, so it's not much cheaper than what, I would, what it would have cost if I'd bought the, the whole thing from eBay. But even still, it is complete. So now that's going to be another complete one to put on the shelf. Then next up, we have got uh, Sports Talk Football, uh, buh, 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 93, sorry, there you go. Um, yeah, this one, do you know what, I wouldn't mind, I only played these games last night, so you'd think I'd remember them, because um, I know, uh, the, the, yeah, I think this one was the one that I played first, actually, um, and I think I was... I got absolutely whooped, <laughs> really did, um, but yeah, I thought sort of graphically it looked really impressive, um, I have to say John Madden graphically was really, really impressive, um, this was pretty much what I was expecting of the era, um, but yeah, it wasn't too bad, as I say, uh, I think my performance was the, the big letdown there, and then the final game that we got was FIFA International Soccer on the, well, of course, on the Mega Drive because all of the games are on the Mega Drive. Uh, the case is really bad. Um, it's got no manual. Uh, even the, the little clip to hold the game in is broke. Uh, so, yeah, I'm going to have to try and find a EA box. Uh, the, the problem with the EA games on the Mega Drive is obviously they're all stamped inside uh, with EA. And also the carts are the square carts, so they're they're custom carts. The re the reason for that is, is when the Mega Drive was out, uh, you had to be licensed to release games on the Mega Drive. Well, what EA done was they actually reverse engineered the um, the lockout software or the the the, the way that the, the Mega Drive locks out unofficial games, um, and then they started developing their own carts. And it's only after they started developing their own carts that Sega relented um, and allowed them to carry on doing their own carts uh, because I think the cost, uh, what Sega were charging to produce the carts, uh, EA didn't want to pay. Uh, so that's why most EA games on the Mega Drive are in sort of custom carts. But I will admit, it does make it a lot harder when you're trying to get uh, replacement cases for them because they're not as widely available. Uh, so for FIFA, once again, pay £2 for that, goes for £6 on eBay. Then, moving on, we got, uh, I think this was another early pickup, uh, we got a copy of Minecraft on the PS3. So we've already got this in the collection, I am going to check actually, because I'm thinking that this might actually be in a better bad condition than the one that I've already got in the collection. 
So if it is, I'll end up swapping it out. Um, but yeah, it was in really good condition. It's got the manual, everything's there. So yeah, if it's in better condition, I'll swap that one out. Uh, paid two pounds for that. Goes for eight pounds at CEX, 10 pounds on eBay. Then, so as I was walking around, um, I come across this stall. And I found this next thing just sitting there. And I thought that I'd literally sort of won out. And that is Pokemon Diamond on the DS. Now, we've already got a copy of this in the collection. So I was purely going to be buying it for resale. Um, but, unfortunately, when I opened it up, I found out that it was complete, but had no cart. Uh, so it's got all the manuals, everything like that, but yeah, just no cartridge. So, uh, yeah, it, that was a bit of a shame. Did ask the seller uh, if I could still grab it off them, and she just gave it to me. Uh, and looking it up online, they actually sell for about £10. So I'm probably going to get that listed on eBay, um, and yeah, make a bit of money. Then, as we were walking around as well, so I think this was towards the end of the day, and I think this was actually spotted by Nicky. Uh, so as we were walking around, I think he clocked, clocked this as we were walking around, and that is F1 Race on the Game Boy. So I remember this one. This was um, this actually can't. This was very unique when it came out. So it come in a sort of double sized box. So it's like double the height of a original. Uh, Game Boy game. Uh, it come packed in with a four-way uh, four multi-tap so that you could have four Game Boys playing the same game and basically have sort of four-player um, multiplayer, uh, which was really unique. And yeah, so I will admit, it's something that I probably will look to track down is the, the box and the multi-tap for this uh, because I think that would be a nice little addition to the, uh, the Game Boy shelf. But yeah, saw that there, um, managed to pick it up, paid £5 for it. Uh, looking it up online, it sells for about £5 on eBay as cart only. So it didn't really save anything there, but still, it's a good game to have in the collection. And I will admit, capturing the footage for that, it really it controlled really, really well. So yeah, definitely a game to pick up uh, if you manage to get to it. Then, next up, we have got... I can't remember if this come from the same seller as the uh, the Game Boy game. But I picked up a whole box. And inside the box was an original PlayStation. So this is the second revision. Uh, so this is one that doesn't have the, uh, the component outports, but does have the expansion port. Um, it's in a sorry state. It needs a real good clean. Um, I'll be honest, I haven't tested it yet even, so don't know if it works or not. Um, but, yeah, I thought, you know what, I'll grab it um, for... Uh, there was a couple of controllers, some cables. So, yeah, just decided to grab it, as a, even if it's a little project. Uh, what did I pay? I paid £10 for that. Um, as I say, that come in the whole box um, with some other cables. Uh, probably overpaid for that, um, I will say. But... Um, yeah, if it is working, uh, it will go for about £32 at CEX and £25 on eBay. Uh, then we picked up a Sony tape deck. So the reason that I picked this up, and I would actually say, I actually picked up a couple of these at the boot fair. Uh, one of the, uh, the other two, I uh, basically bought them for resale. Um, I think originally I bought all of them for resale, but then thought about it um, and wanted to keep this one. Because I actually, actually had one of these when I was younger. Uh, and I think at some at one point this was used uh, on my original Spectrum. So that's the reason why I picked this one up. Because I haven't got a reliable tape deck to use with any of my Spectrums. So decided to grab this. Uh, knew that it was a decent model. Um, and yeah, uh, as I say, it was more more just so that I could use it on sort of some of the spectrums that we've got. Uh, so I paid three pounds for that. Looking it up online, they go for about twenty pounds on eBay. So that was a really good pickup. Then this next bundle of stuff, um, I didn't, act, I wasn't actually able to put any footage in of this pickup uh, because the seller did ask me not to um, put any footage of him in. Uh, I think what I might have done is put some stills in. Uh, but I'm not too sure, as I say, I haven't edited the video yet. Um, but, yeah, I will admit, this first one did get me in quite a bit of trouble. 
uh, and that was getting me in trouble with the wife. So that is a complete in box PlayStation TV. And yeah, the reason they got me in trouble was because I had originally asked her to buy me one for Christmas. And then, yeah, so this boot fair was in October. So it was a couple of months before Christmas. And yeah, I think I'd asked her probably about a fortnight before. She said, oh, what do you want for Christmas? I'm like, oh, do you know what? I'd really like a PS, uh, PlayStation TV uh, sort of in the box. They go for about this. And yeah, then I walk home one day from the boot fair with one. And I said, I actually don't bother getting me that because I've already got one. <laughs> I got in a lot of trouble. Um, but yeah, it is complete. Um, it's got everything in there. And what I've also done as well is I picked up one of the official 8 gig uh, memory cards as well. Uh, because yeah, with the Vita, you, to, you can't use anything else. You have to use the official Sony memory card which is a bit of annoy an annoyance, but hey-ho. Uh, so what we've done is we paid £40 for the PS TV. Uh, it goes for £60 at CEX and £70 on eBay. So yeah, really, really happy to have that in the collection. It's been something I've been after for a while uh, because it'll now allow me to capture footage for uh, Vita games. Some Vita games because obviously the PS TV isn't compatible with all Vita games. Um, there's actually, I didn't realize at the time, it's quite a restrictive list. Uh, so, yeah, that's a bit of a disappointment. But um, what I can do is, is I can actually hack the, uh, the PlayStation TV. It's quite an easy process from what I've seen. Uh, and that will basically allow me to play any game on there. So, I probably will do that. Um, but yeah, just as and when I can. And then from the same seller, what I also done was also picked up a couple of Game Boy games as well. Uh, and it was quite funny because there was a guy, uh, a guy there who was uh, looking through the games uh, before me. And yeah, he it was quite funny because he was saying that he was a, a big collector in Kent. Um, and he was really trying to barter the guy down uh, based on that fact. Um, and yeah, he was going through the box of Game Boy games and actually left these. So... Yeah, uh, how much of a collector he was, I'm not too sure uh, whether he was just a reseller or not. Um, but let's just say the third game that I got, I would have expected him to have picked up. <laughs> so the first game that we've got is Mario and Yoshi. Uh, so this is like a Tetris style game. Uh, and basically you've got four columns and Mario's at the bottom and he's got to sort of switch, switch the columns round uh, to try and sort of complete, uh, to match two basically. And yeah, it's a, it's an okay game. I think I've briefly played it before. Can't remember if it's on the Game Boy or another platform. Uh, but we paid uh, five pounds for that. Goes for five pounds at CEX, six fifty on eBay. Then the next game was one when I saw it there. I was like, I'm going to grab it because it completes a subset with the uh, within the Game Boy, and that is Donkey Kong Land Free. So we've currently got, I've got my original copy of Donkey Kong Land, uh, which uh, I had with my Game Boy from when I was younger. And then recently, I think some point last year, we picked up uh, Donkey Kong Land 2. So yeah, I picked this up. I will admit when I picked this up, I didn't know whether I had two or three at home. So I picked it up a bit blind, but luckily it worked out that I had already had two at home. Uh, and then this one was going to get added to the collection as well. Uh, so once again, paid five pounds for that. Goes for eight pounds at CEX, nine pounds on eBay. And then, yeah, as I say, the last game, uh, I was really surprised that uh, the guy left this. And that is Metroid 2 on the Game Boy. So didn't have it in the collection. It's one that I had been wanting to add, um, but just never really seen it about. Uh, so ended up paying ten pounds for it. Uh, it goes for £20 at both CEX and eBay. And yeah, just really, really chuffed to have that. That is one of the games that was on the list to get. So what I want to try and do now is I want to try and track down a box for it and a manual um, and actually make it box complete. I think box complete, it's well over £100 in value. So yeah, I'm going to keep my eye out for a box. I will admit, I think I've got an active search at the moment on eBay for Game Boy box uh, Game Boy boxes um, and yeah I've never seen this one come up and whenever I've searched for it 
uh, it never returns any results for just the box. Um, it's always the uh, box with the game. So, yeah, that is everything that we picked up from the main boot fair. Uh, the rest of the bits that we've got are all bits that I picked up from Nikki. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to quickly organise the desk so that we've, uh, we've got it all there. Uh, and then, yeah, we'll go through that next. Okay, so I've got everything set up now so we can dive into the other bits that I've got. So as I said earlier on, all of these are bits that I picked up from Nikki. Um, and I have to say the final two games that we've got here are absolutely amazing. They're games, one that I've been looking for for the collection, one that I never thought I would have in the collection. So yeah, really chuffed with that. But the first thing that we're going to have a look at is a bag and in this bag is just stacked full of pokemon cards there must be thousands in here and yeah i've had a brief look uh while i've, sort of, I've just sorted them all out so that they're in boxes or everything like that just so they're as protected as can be um, and there's a real good mixture between some of the more recent sets um, as well as Japanese sets, and yeah, I'm actually going to be able to put together quite a good collection of Japanese cards, which is really good, because I haven't got too many. Um, I think when I've uh, put all my Pokemon cards into boxes recently, I've probably got a stack about that big of Japanese cards, where with what's in here, there's well over a couple of boxes worth. So yeah, that's going to be fun, trying to work out what sets they're for. <laughs> Um, but yeah, what I've done was I paid £20 for the whole bag, um, and yeah, I'm just going to have to go through, sort out the ones that I have uh, that I need for the collection, and separate out the ones that I don't need. Right, so next up, we've got a, another console, and this one is a Wii U. So, as you know, whenever I see a Wii U, um, and whenever I can get one for a good price, I'll always pick them up, uh, purely because I think that this is going to be the next big thing. Uh, I think it's going to be, I reckon within a couple of years, uh, you'll be paying sort of three, four hundred pounds for a Wii U. I, I've not, my, my DeLorean's actually in the shop at the moment, so I haven't been able to go forward and check, but um, yeah, I, I really do think that this is going to be the next, uh, the next big Nintendo console to really spike in price. Um, so yeah, whenever I see them, I do pick them up. I think at the moment, um, not including my main Wii U that I use, uh, I think I've got about four spares. Uh, they're all in different stages of being complete. Uh, I think I might be missing a, uh, a tablet uh, and then a couple of cables and this, that and the other. But this one actually come with the power supply and actually come with the sensor bar that comes with the Wii U. So the difference between them, the Wii one is silver, uh, the Wii U one is black. Uh, I don't actually have one of the black ones yet, so I'm going to put that in with my Wii U uh, to make that basically complete now. I think the only thing I'm missing from my Wii U is going to be the box. But, uh, so yeah, sorry, for the Wii U and the leads, uh, I paid £10 for it. Uh, because obviously it's not complete with a tablet, I haven't got a CEX price. But uh, you're looking at about £30 on eBay for just the console. And what made it even better was when I opened it up, or powered it on, sorry, it actually had a copy of New Super Mario Bros U in it. Uh, which is a game that I don't have in the collection, unfortunately, because, um, yeah, it's... Obviously, I don't have the box, don't have the manual, um, so, yeah, that's a bit of a shame. Uh, I've looked up online, and for what it would cost to get me the box, I could get a complete version, um, but it's still good to have it in the collection. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to stick it up on the Wii, shelf, the Wii U shelf for now, uh, and then, yeah, when I get the chance, uh, I will pick it up. Uh, complete in box. Uh, so for Mario Brothers U, disc only goes for about eight pounds, uh, and I think the I'm seeing complete in box versions for anywhere between sort of ten and twelve pounds. So yeah, there's not a lot of difference to get it sort of with the box. Then next up, picked up a couple of soundtracks from Nikki. Um, now this is not something that I normally pick up, but because I've never seen these before, that was the reason for grabbing it. So we've got Gears of War 3 and Gears of War Judgment. 
Uh, once again, I, I'll be honest, I've not played either of these games, so I don't know how good the soundtrack is. Um, but yeah, just thought they were sort of unique additions. Uh, Gears of War, so we paid £2.50 each for them. Gears of War 3 goes for £7. And Gears of War Judgment goes for £5. Uh, but da -da, then, uh, another thing that I picked up from him, uh, I think this was actually at the boot fair, was a slim Xbox 360. Um, I can't remember if I've tested it yet or not. Uh, no, I don't think I've tested it yet. But it come with all the cables, uh, the controllers, the Kinect, uh, and a couple of games as well. Uh, one of the games actually is just over there. I forgot to bring it over. It's not one that I've got in the collection. So I'm going to put that into the collection as well. And that is, I think it's Just Dance Disney. Uh, once again, as I say, I don't have it in the collection. So I'm going to add that in. Um, I will admit, I literally found it as I was getting everything together for the video. Uh, so, yeah, uh, I haven't got any prices for it. Uh, right, I'm going to just sort of noticing how long we've been at the video. So I'm going to speed through these uh, a bit quicker than I would normally. Uh, because most of these, are, especially the first load that we go through, are all going to be doubles. Uh, so we've got Bionicles on the PS2. Star Wars Episode 3, uh, Revenge of the Sith on the PS2. I think the first couple here are all PS2. Uh, we've got the Incredible Hulk, or just the Hulk. The Simpsons game. Uh, I think most of these... Uh, da, 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 da. No, all the first the first three are all, with, uh, all complete. Simpsons doesn't have the manual. Uh, we've got Star Wars Battlefront on the PS4. Got another copy of Super Mario Galaxy. As well as Super Mario Galaxy 2. Uh, so what I'm probably going to do is uh, we'll probably bundle them together uh, and sell them on eBay. I've then got case only uh, for Super Mario Galaxy 2. Uh, there's no manual or anything inside it. We've then got Mario Party 9. Uh, I think that one's... Can... No, no manual in that. Uh, then we've got disc only uh, version of uh, Mario Kart Wii. We got uh, LDs, is that what it's called? <laughs> uh, haven't got a clue on that, but I think we've already got it in the collection. Then I got really excited when I saw this there, because this was one that I've been wanting to add to the collection. But when I opened it up, it had Super Smash Brothers Brawl in it. Uh, and then, yeah, looking at the sort of disc only online, there's not much difference between disc only and uh, complete. But looking it up, actually, uh, I think case only uh, sells for £7. So I may look to sell the, the case and the manual. Uh, we've got Wii, uh, re, uh, the Beatles Rock Band on the Wii. Uh, once again, it's complete, but we have already got it. And then another one that we've got is Link's Crossbow Training. Then on the DS, we've got Star Wars Lethal Alliance. We've got the Bob. <laughs> um, yeah, don't know anything about that one. Um, but I don't... Was that one that we didn't have? Yeah, we don't actually have that one in the collection, I don't think. Um, doesn't have the manual, but even still, we'll get that added in. We've then got the Puzzler uh, collection. Uh, thousands of puzzles. So this is sort of crosswords, uh, Sudoku, word searches, and all of that sort of stuff. Um, I think I've got it on the DS, but don't have it on the Wii. Then a PS2 game that we, we've actually got a copy of it on the GameCube, and that is Cell Damaged. Um, but I think the PS2 version got the subtitle of Overdrive. Um, that one is complete. And then finally, we've got a Pokemon DVD. Uh, I'm not too sure whether I've already got this one in the collection or not. And then, in addition to that, got a couple of uh, UMDs, uh, but unfortunately the discs inside are different from the cases. So, for the Grand Theft Auto, we've got Midnight Club 3 Dub Edition, uh, but I am going to check because the um, does come with the manual and the map, uh, which I don't think I've got in my one, so if I do, I will take those out. 
And then the Simpsons movie, um, but inside it's got Ratchet and Clank Size Matters. Uh, once again, uh, a game that we've already got in the collection. Then we've got three more pickups to go through. And yeah, I will say those weren't the the golden pickups that I was talking about earlier on. So the next bit that we've got is another console. Um, but this is actually a, a bundle set. And yeah, I'm gonna have to pick it up because it's just down here. <laughs> and it is the black Wii Fit Plus bundle. Uh, so this comes with the console, uh, the black Wii Fit board, um, as well as a copy of, uh, I believe it's Wii Fit Plus. Yeah, Wii Fit Plus. So yeah, Nicky had this and I was umming and ahhing about picking it up from him uh, because as you know, I've not got a lot of room left in the games room for especially big boxes, uh, big console boxes. Um, and obviously we've got a complete in box original Wii, but it was the fact that it had the black uh, balance board really sort of yeah uh, I think that was what wore me down was the the, uh, the balance board unfortunately uh, the balance board is heavily corroded uh, within the battery compartment uh, so what I am going to have to do is I'm going to have to look to swap out the terminals in the uh, the balance board but other than that everything else is brilliant with the console so it is just the corrosion in the balance board um, I will be honest, it's not a console I've got any intentions on using. Um, I'm purely going to keep it in the box. Um, and as I say, when I can, uh, it will become one of the display consoles. Uh, so I paid £50 for that. Looking it up online, the, in this condition, they go for around £90. Uh, there was some that are slightly less, some that are slightly more. So I thought I'd go for a price right in the middle. And then the final two games. Now, this first one was one that I've been dying to pick up because it was one of the very first games that I ever played on the original PlayStation. Unfortunately, it is a platinum version. It's not the black label, which I'm still going to have to keep my eye out for. But that is the original Destruction Derby. Now, this game is absolutely brilliant. I love this game. Um, I, I've got a copy of it on the Sega Saturn. Um, but, yeah, really wanted the original... To me, this is the original version, the PlayStation version, because this is the original version that I played. Um, now, we've got Destruction Derby 2 on the PS2, but for me, I needed to get this. So, when Nicky showed that he had this, I was like, yes, I will have it. What do you want for it, please? Um, so I ended up getting it for £10 off him. Uh, looking it up online, they go for about £14 uh, in complete condition on eBay. Um, surprisingly enough, didn't find it listed on CEX. So yeah, was really, really shocked with that. I thought that would be one that you would find at CEX. And then we get on to the final game. And this is the game that I, I knew about. Um, never ever expected to pick it up uh, because it's actually one of the most expensive games on the Nintendo Wii and that is Fire Emblem Radiant Dawn now I will be honest I haven't played this yet so any footage that you're seeing has actually been captured after I filmed this video um, but yeah I was it was a difficult one for me because it was a game that I knew that if I didn't grab it off him, uh, I would never be able to get it again without paying top whack for it. Um, and yeah, this is this is an expensive game. So to give you an idea, um, at the, well, when I've captured this, on C CEX are charging £78 for it, and on eBay it goes for about £100. So yeah, it is highly sought after for Wii collectors. Uh, so, yeah, I I was going to grab it off him because Nicky actually sold it to me for £40. Now, I will say, we'd, we'd had discussions about it. He knew what it was selling for. Um, I've not sort of hidden... I don't... When I buy things off Nicky, uh, whether I buy things or he give, gives me things, I will always discuss with him what they're worth. And whether that's CEX price, eBay price, I will always communicate. Like what I do with most people... Um, but I will, I'm always extremely honest with Nicky, uh, 
because uh, he, he's admitted to me before he doesn't know about video games. Um, definitely doesn't know about them in the same way that I do. So, yeah, whenever I get cheap prices off Nicky, that is Nicky giving me the prices after he's been fully informed. So, yeah, just in case anyone ever thinks that I rip Nicky off. Um, and I know Nicky watches my videos, um, so hopefully he'll back me up in the comments. <laughs> but yeah, as I say, this was a game I never expected to get into the collection because I'll be honest, I have got no desire to spend £100 on a Nintendo Wii game. Normally I wouldn't spend £40 on a Wii game, but because it was such a great deal, uh, there was no way I was going to let it go. So a massive, massive thank you to Nicky. Um, not just for that, but for everything that he gets for me. Um, whenever he gets anything gaming related, he will always send me a picture over, give me first first refusal on everything. 99% of the time, uh, I will just pick everything off. Everything that he gets, I normally pick up off him. Um, but yeah, just a massive, massive thank you to him uh, for everything that he does for both me and the channel. And that is gonna wrap up today's video. But before we uh, do finish off, uh, let's quickly run through the totals. So total spend was £269.99p. and If we bought everything that we could from CEX, we'd be looking at a total price of £380 exactly. And then if we got everything from eBay, we'd be looking at a total price of £769.50p. and so yeah, as I say, really, really enjoyed this. Um, I know this video's definitely gone on longer than I would normally like, uh, but yeah, I just wanted to make sure that we got everything in. So with that, I am gonna get the video wrapped up, but before you head off, if you did enjoy the video, don't forget to hit that like button. And if you're not already, smash that subscribe button and ring the bell to be kept up to date when I upload new videos. And yeah, with that said, thank you so, so much for watching today. Really hope you enjoyed the video. And I'll see you on the next one. All right, bye.